the SVR of ELT Santana feeder must be checked in accordance to the new requirements of USA, Canada and Europe to confirm that antenna is properly adjusted and there is no damage in antenna feeder connection. The new Avionics test Tester GT1 fully complies to the mentioned requirements and uh, with help of it we will perform the test. Here is the antenna of Avionic Beacon. The metallic subsurface imitates the aircraft body. It is important to mention that measurements of antennas SVR should be provided only for installed antenna. First, we connect the GT1 to the antenna with help of the power sensor and cables that are supplied in tester's complete set. The tester should be turned off while connecting. Now turn on the device. And go to the main menu by pressing Enter. Select SVR and press Enter. Here input the carrier of the tested frequency. First it will be 406.31 MHz. Press Enter to start measurements. Press Escape to stop. We see SVR 1.6. It's good result. So we go on and check 121.5 MHz frequency. Input the carrier. And press Enter. Press Escape to stop measurements. Finally, we do the same for 243 MHz frequency. Here is the SVR result for 243 channel. It is very high. As per FAA requirements, the SVR of antenna must be less than 2. Thus, we make a conclusion that this antenna is well adjusted for 406 and 121.5 channels, but not adjusted for avionic frequency 243 MHz. It should be adjusted and properly tuned. Besides continuous wave SVR, we can also make SVR measurements in the range of frequencies. To enter this mode, we press F2 key. Here we set up the beginning and the end of the range of the tested channel and set up the step. Let's start from 121.5 MHz channel. Set up the range from 112 to 122 MHz with the step 0.5. And press Enter. GT1 makes all measurements and here is the result. This is the minimum and maximum SVR in the range. It's good value. Now set up the range 405 to 407 MHz with the step 0.2 and press Enter. The SVR range is also satisfactory. And the last channel 243 MHz. The range should be 243 to 244 MHz with the step 0.2 MHz. Press Enter to see the result. It is abnormally high SVR. So we confirm that the antenna is not properly adjusted for avionics rescue channels. With help of new GADSS tester GT1, an inspector can test the antenna and antenna feeder system to assure that ELT works properly and it is reliable in emergency situation if such occurs. We wish you be safe and in good health. Subscribe to our channel not to miss our new videos and you will find out more about our new GADSS Tester GT1.